Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Virgo. I want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and your family. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what is unfolding for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors and archangels, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What is unfolding for them? What changes can they expect? Opportunities or obstacles that they may need to overcome for this month of December? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Virgo, one more shuffle. All right, let's get into it. First card here is the, the anchor. Wow, very powerful type of energy. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there are, you're going through this cycle where there's going to be a need for there's going to be a need to have clarity in regards to what you're wanting. Now, this could be career. This could be finances. This could be uh, relationships. But ultimately, what they're telling you here is what is it that you're really, what is it that you're really like, uh, that you're wanting, right? What is it that you're wanting to manifest? The anchor represents structure. And the energies of the sky, the mind, and the sacred dynamic forces. So ultimately, it is about what is it that you want to stabilize at this present time in your life. The anchor is a representation of the emperor's energy. And the emperor's energy is all about structure, right? It's all about the authority. It is all about taking action. So what they're telling you is, what is it that you're doing at this present time, Virgo, that is going to propel you into having or living the life that you're wanting to manifest for you? Beautiful energy. The next card here, it is the Seeker of Wands. So this is communication that's coming through. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. For others of you, you may be dealing with a fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This is communication that comes in very quickly. For some of you guys, this is going towards some type of uh, passionate or intense um, connection. But this can also represent not being quick to jump into a relationship where in the very beginning it is very hot and heavy it is very intense and this could be a recurring cycle that you've done or you've been going through um this is almost like when we are kind of like moths to a flame there is a specific trait about the people that you have a tendency of dealing with and it could be that it, the connection the intensity of it is what draws you in but is it ultimately what give, what's giving you stability? If the answer to that is no, then you need to stop chasing that and look towards not what's passionate and what's intense, but what feels more like home, what feels more comfortable, what feels more at ease. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Eight of Wands. So I see you guys going towards a new beginning. This is a new passionate endeavor. This could be a new connection for some. The next card here is the Two of Swords. Going towards a passionate endeavor where you may feel like you don't know what to decide right now because you're not fully sure what this person wants. Your next card here is the Hermit card, internalizing. We go back to the message that we had here with the Anchor and the Seeker of Wands. If you want something to change in your life, you must be willing to embrace something different. Stop going towards the same type. Stop embracing the same type of energy. Stop giving your heart or your opportunities or new beginnings to those that have a recurring theme. Because the ultimate result is going to be the same. It's kind of like, expect, like doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. The Ace of Wands also encourages you to be more mindful when it comes to chasing passions and desires. 
versus being more drawn or redirecting your energy towards that that brings peace to you with the hermit. And this could be in every single aspect. This could be in career. This could be in finances for some of you guys. You have a tendency of starting very hot when we're talking about career and finances. When you start a new job, um, when you're starting a new endeavor, a new business, you're very hot, right? You're obsessed with it. You are doing 100% of what is expected and what you want and you're like fully invested. And as time progresses, you have a tendency of either detaching or losing interest because it's not as interesting. It's not as challenging. It's not as passionate as it once was. What Spirit is telling you here is there is a need for you to have clear and concise focus on what you're wanting to achieve. You're not always going to have days that are intense and passionate. You're not always going to have days that are perhaps as interesting or as new as you would want. But it's about keeping that determination, that focus, fully committing yourself to the cause whether it's to the cause of being in a relationship with someone that starts hot and heavy and after a while you kind of lose interest or it gets boring and it's not really boredom, it's peace and balance. But it's almost like you're, again, we, they're, they're showing me like being, you know, being like a moth to a flame. Like you like the intensity. But this can also be something that you need to work towards, not going towards, if that makes sense. Why? Because it could be a very link connection to the detriment of stability for you. So if you started a new endeavor, a new business, a new career, you just started a new job, it was exciting in the beginning, but now you're losing interest. Find ways to challenge yourself to be able to maintain that passion, that focus. Your next card is the two of coins with the hanged one. So it's about balance, 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 balance for you guys for this month of December. It is being mindful about how much money you spend. It's being mindful about the people that you choose to be around. Are they giving you or inspiring you or re-energizing you or are they drawing your energy? The hanged man, are you sacrificing yourself or you're sacrificing your peace? To continue chasing that intensity. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there is a connection that is only purely based on the physical. And you keep hoping or wanting or wishing that it's going to manifest into, some, into something long term. But this is you sacrificing yourself because you know ultimately that you're going to be left feeling like you didn't fully get what you wanted. Why? Because believe them when they tell you they're not looking for anything serious. It's time to take our rose-colored glasses off and see things for what they really are. And a lot of the times we can go off and blame other people, right? That we get into relationships and we blame them for why it didn't work out without fully looking at ourselves and looking at what we're doing. That is also a detriment to that failure or a detriment to our stability. And what they're telling you here ultimately is finding the balance in that is going to have or show you a different perspective. The sun card. This is a blessing. This is a blessed union. This is blessings that are being bestowed upon you that you're not aware of at the present time because you're only looking at the current situation and circumstance. It is about rising to the occasion, Virgo. We are no longer babies, right? It is time to know and understand our virtues and our flaws. And it's okay because we're made perfectly the way we were meant to be. And when we're talking about relationships, it's finding that other person that is not perfect, the flawed person that is going to mesh well with you, that is going to balance you, that is going to help you see the betterment of you and vice versa. If it's a career in finances, if you feel like your energy is being drawn out in this, real, in this uh, partnership or in this business or in this career, and they're not really appreciating your work, 
Maybe it's time to look outside of the box. Maybe it's time you start shopping around for a new job. But only if you can fully say 100% that you've put your all into it. If you haven't, you cannot be able to expect success without fully committing to the cause of it. So it's about putting that extra work, putting going above and beyond, not because you have to or because it's expected of you, but because you want to. If we want to be great at what we do, we must be better than everyone else. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it in the sense of, can you fully complain that they're not appreciating you? Are you doing of more than others? Because if you're only doing what's expected of you, how are you to be compensated? How are you to be acknowledged? You're not doing anything different than anyone else. But if you're busting your ass, going above and beyond, doing what is expected of you and beyond that, and they're not appreciating that, now is the time to make a move. Now is the time to take yourself, the asset that you are to that business or that company, and go somewhere they're going to appreciate you. If it's in a relationship, again, stop holding on to what doesn't work. Realizing that the person that is right for you doesn't necessarily have to make you have or feel butterflies and feel excited. There is a calmness and an ease to the person that's right for you. Passion is one thing. Desire. When we're talking about relationships, you have to see things from a different perspective in order to be able to do things differently, to be able to get a different outcome. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. Wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.